This story appears in the September 2022 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia as much of the world went into a standstill at the height of the pandemic in 2020, veteran venture capitalist Jenny Lee, 50, hunkered down in her hometown in Singapore to raise money for four new funds being launched by her firm GGV Capital. For four months, Lee barely slept as she made over 250 Zoom calls that raised $2. 5 billion, a process that usually takes 6 months, and all done remotely from investors around the world. The funds raised by Lee and her team was the highest ever in GGV's 22-year history, increasing the firm's assets under management by 27% to an all-time high of $9.2 2 billion. Lee, who runs all of GGV's U. S dollar fundraising, takes pride in the results. It's all worth it, Lee says in an interview in June at the GGV Capital Office in Singapore. If I can raise $10 million per call, I'll do it every day. Investor confidence in GGV arises in no small part due to Lee, who has been named by Forbes as one of the world's top 100 venture capitalists for 11 years in a row, from the first year she was included in the Midas list in 2012. She has cemented her reputation as one of the most respected VC investors in the country, and the world, it was noted on this year's list. She was one of 12 women to be selected, and was only one of four 11 years ago. For her success, especially in a male-dominated field, she has also been included in Forbes' list of the world's most powerful women three times and Forbes Asia's Power Business Women list in 2019. She is surrounded by top-tier VCs at GGV, of which she is one of six managing partners that run the company, including global managing partner Singaporean Jik Sun Fu, known for an early bet on regional super rap grab. Another high-profile managing partner looking at investments in Asia is Hans Tum, a Taiwanese-American who has been on the Midas list 10 times. The others on the team bring expertise in areas such as U.S. investments, sector knowledge and hands-on entrepreneurial experience. The firm claims its funds have delivered an average annual gross IRR of over 25% since the company's founding in 2000. The 354 companies in GGV's portfolio are balanced almost equally between those in Asia-Pacific and the Americas, GGV claims its investments include more than 85 unicorns. China is home to the highest number of Asian companies in the portfolio, with 77 investee companies listed on its site, only the U.S. has more investments, at around 130. While Lee got her start as a venture capitalist at Morgan Stanley and Jafco Asia, it was in China where Lee cemented her reputation soon after she joined Menlo Park California-based GGV to launch its office there in 2005.